Kia ora team. This here is Pukatia and Pukatia is really generous to us in many different ways. Pukatia, uh, you can use the bark of the Pukatia to, cr to create a tea that uh, relieves the symptoms of diarrhea and nobody likes having diarrhea when they're in the bush. It is the absolute worst. Also, that same tea that you make from the bark of Pukatia relieves toothache. Really handy if you're a long way from the dentist in the bush. There you go. Also, Pukatia, when they get big like this one, they hollow out on the inside and were traditionally used to store important things, whether it's food and sometimes even taonga, sometimes even the bones of the dead. So Pukatia is generous to us in many different ways, but what role does it play in the wider landscape? Well, you'll notice that Pukatia has these big curved buttresses like this, and it's designed to help the, the trees stand up in wet uh, land. Pukatia often grows in our swamps and our wetlands, and uh, it grows alongside Kahikatia. And the reason that it does that is because the buttresses of the Pukatia are designed to slow down water as water travels across the landscape. It's designed to slow down the water so that it gives Kahikatia a chance to suck up those excess nutrients out of the water and suspend them in matter in those trees before that nutrient has a chance to get to our rivers and our lakes and will create an imbalance and create algal blooms etc. So Pukatia plays a really important role in slowing down water across the landscape, stopping erosion, and also allows Kahikatea to siphon out those excess nutrients, protecting our freshwater ecosystems across Aotearoa. So thank you Pukatea for being an amazing tree, being very generous to us, giving us rongoa for diarrhea, for toothache, allowing us to store things inside of it, and also protecting our freshwater ecosystems. So there you go. If you're planning out a wetland, if you're planning out some lowland damp country, please consider Pukatia alongside your Kahikatia to allow us to have beautiful forests and abundant freshwater ecosystems.